Hello and welcome, it's your boy LFJ with another episode of Are You Done Chronicle 100 Heroes. We are at episode 20, the big 2-0. Last episode we joined Eucris in the war against the Empire. Which is, I still don't quite understand what's going on because why are the Empire attacking? You know? The Empire reached out and said, hey, you know, you can, you can join us. And then as soon as we say no, it's war. I thought they weren't invading. I thought that was the whole story. So they won't be able to have much of a story to hide behind now that they've attacked Eucharist, right? Anyway, we won the first battle. Uh, we feel like there's going to be another battle, but we don't know when. So I don't know what the next game plan is. Do we wait here with Eucharist and help defend a second attack? Or do we look for reinforcements? Do we leave this town? I've got no idea. Hopefully we'll find out once we go to the Dune. Not the tune to the palace. We'll have a cheeky little word with the uh, with King Yuma. I do wonder, are we going to go straight into another war battle? The battle of attrition continues. Our ambushes in the last fight took a modest toll on the enemy, but we still remain outnumbered. This time. Noah's allied troops and the White Sands mercenaries will fight on the defensive line. Okay. Hold a keen edge out there, both of you, and be ready for anything. <laughs> if there's one thing the White Sands know, it's how to hold a keen edge. So the whole point was the Empire's army outnumbered Eucharist's army two to one. But even with our forces and with the mercenaries, we're still outnumbered, but definitely not by two to one. And your troops, Commander Noah? Ready to go. Why you darn tootin' we are? Here we go. Yeah, go on, Marin. Love that from you. She's not even in the team. She's, uh, I think she's the support person. You Christians! Take heart from yesterday's victory! But do not take your enemy lightly! For he will fight with even more fury this day! I wonder if Sane and gang will be involved in this one because they were talking were they talking about design there was murmurs there was hints oh no there's the tank they're still here how droll that they considered that a victory they merely bought themselves another few hours to breathe for today it will all come crashing down around them in the name of his excellency the emperor Oh, of course, and we just got the news. Well, these guys just got the news, the bad guys, that the Emperor has been assassinated. We don't know that yet. As in, Noah and friends don't know that yet. Okay, so we've got two units here, two units here. All very well and, all very well and good. So what we're going to do... Uh, provoke, scheme... Nope, so you can move there. Bernard, charge... No, that's fine, you don't have to use that just yet. You can move there. Allied legions in a one radius. Okay, for one turn. If there's only one turn, then there's no point. See, allies, attack of allies in your zone for one turn. Again, if it's going to be one turn, we shouldn't use it early. Four or more legions. But there's not going to be once they move. Okay. Hmm. That's fine then. I have two move. I want to keep Noah and friends together. Okay, we might still have something here. So now you guys are going to move there, and Amir is going to move there, and you two are going to move up. Now, if we wanted to, we could completely close in on these guys. Legion Command, cross boost. Guys, Execute. we're gonna win. 
win, no matter what! Attack. Mia. Mia. Concentrate your attack. Don't miss. Mm -hmm. Move in. Now, I could send three people there. Okay. You know what? We're going to send Bernard in. And because Cassius is the strongest team we've got. We'll, uh... Yeah, we'll do scheme. Lower their attack. I'll have you be quiet there. Thank you. Because Cassius is our strongest unit, I believe. He can go and 1v1. Let's go. Listen to me, everyone. You may have heard the rumors already. But His Ooh. Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. Then it's true. Dukes Aldrich is the man behind it. Oh? I have had ample opportunity to witness the Dukes' tyranny and have come to believe the invasion of Eucharist is not just. Therefore, pursuing it would be a stain on the Empire's honor. This is not an order. Those who do not wish to oh follow gosh. me will receive no punishment. But on this day, I turn my banners in revolt against Dukes Aldrich. I fight to return the Empire to a just and righteous path. They're cheering. Your family's soldiers are true to their house, Lieutenant. Yeah. They stand with you. Well, they're all team, fools. So what does that make you? The woman responsible for keeping fools in line, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Disarray in the Imperial ranks? What is happening? What does this mean? Look! It's sane! <sighs> I do not understand what is happening, but I know a potential opportunity when I see it. Protect that company of turncoats! That company is under the Kessling boy's command. The lad takes after his brother. Ooh. I expect big damage here from the us. The enemy has been sighted. Prepare to attack. Lightning strike! Go on, Mia. We've reduced their attack, improved our own attack. And flank them from the side. The enemy flees! Victory is ours! Yep. General Chapel, order your troops to withdraw. Oh? I cannot believe the great General Goldwyn would say such a thing. We must annihilate these pathetic traitors at once! No. What we must do is learn the truth of the Emperor's assassination. Until that happens, this war cannot continue. Very true. All units, fall in! We withdraw at once and return to Goldian soil. Yes, sir. I like Goldwyn. He's an honorable man. But this is absurd! We need just win this one battle so I can deliver the news to Dukes Aldrich and... Do as you will. But I have no intention of fighting for your dukes. Go on, Goldwyn. Is he gonna stay? I shall never retreat. My host is more than sufficient to handle this motley force. General Goldwyn's legion has stood down. But why? My projections appear to have come true. I assure you, Goldwyn's retreat is no feint. Something has transpired inside the Empire. Which means we can finish this here and now. Wow, now we're fighting Chappelle. This seems like a much easier fight all of a sudden. Uh, honestly, everyone here. Oh, move. 
move, move, and then I can't send him here, right? That's a shame. Oh, I can't control Sane. There's two you enemy units that just haven't been involved at all. And we love that. Let's do our best, guys. Go on, Uthus. Enemy unit defeated. But stay alert. Wait, even Saints kicking Chappelle's ass, they didn't even need us. Oh, but now Saints got nowhere to retreat to. We can keep going. He doesn't need to retreat, never mind. Hmm. I want to be a bit brazy. I want everyone to move here. Where we will have to fight the other two. And Cassius is going to fight these two that are weakened. Cassius take on two units at once. And they're both very hurt. Oh, he's got this. See, it's easy. The enemy units. Don't let up now. The enemy flees. Victory is ours. Insane is just about to defeat. But, yep. But I was to claim victory here. Me, for the glory of Duke's Aldrich. Damnation. Is it over? We did it! We saved you, Chris! Uh, we did do that, right? Indeed. Victory is ours. Pretty flawless victory as well, if you ask me. Oh yeah! That's how it's done, cousin! Well fought, Noah. You comported yourself with great skill. You might be longer for this world than I thought. I have protected my kingdom and my king. You're a good man, Cassius. And a great leader. The Imperial Army has quit our territory, Your Majesty. Our scouts expect them to continue withdrawing to the north. Then we won. I wasn't expecting such a good ending. I thought they were. I thought the Empire was going to decimate us in every war battle, and the the world was going to start looking a bit bleak. Yes, Your Majesty, we won. That's that's wonderful. Yes, thank you all so much. I owe a great debt to you and the Allied Army. Thank you for fighting at our side. It was a mutual effort, Your Majesty. You needn't shy away from credit, Noah. Our successes thus far are in no small measure thanks to you. Yeah, so let's see a little swagger already. I gotta agree. <laughs> We finally gave those imps the shellacking they deserve, and there's no harm in savoring it! <laughs> My concern is that I fail to understand what prompted Goldwyn's troops to withdraw. Oh, um... Huh... Was that some scheme of yours, Malrich? I fear I am as in the dark as the rest of you. However, I suspect... Perhaps I can shed some light on that. <gasps> Sane! Sane. This Imperial officer and his people just surrendered to us, Commander. I had a feeling it would be you. A pleasure to see you again, Noah. Been a while, Lieutenant. So, uh, thanks for switching sides and all, but, uh, why? I harbor suspicions which have driven me to leave the Empire. <gasps> suspicions related to General Goldwyn's abrupt retreat. 
Yes. If you don't know, His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. What? The Emperor of Galdia? But why? How? Dukes Eldrick is how. While we lack solid evidence of such, the information we've gathered certainly raises the possibility. So that's why they all turned tail and ran. This Duke's guy must be a first-class moron. Way to make your move at the worst possible time, you dope. I will return to the castle on the morrow. Our troops must be reorganized before we can carry on to Norrister. And you, Melridge? It looks like Norristar is going to be our next location that we try Actually, to I have received the king's blessing to make myself useful within the Alliance. Oh. If you are amiable, I feel I can respond more nimbly stationed at your headquarters. Melridge is going to join us. So you expect our battle with the Empire to continue? Oh, I believe it has only just begun. Duke Saldric's ambitions clearly extend beyond the Galdian throne. The invasion of you, Chris, was simply a tidy way to displace the general for a time. It certainly is beginning to look that way. Goldwyn was ever the late Emperor's staunchest loyalist. Once Aldrich sent him far from home, he used that time to sow the seeds of a coup. He's a ruthless and cunning man, and no mistake. But I dare say you may be his equal. It pleases me to have you on our side. Oh. I don't think I am the cunning one here. After all, you didn't hand your army over to that Noah boy for no reason. This has been your plan from the start. Yes. Well... Still, if the Resistance army was led by the Countess of Groom, it would invite no end of suspicion. Tongues would wag about my agenda, my ambition. But a commoner turned hero rising up against the Empire's tyranny? Now that's the sort of story that resonates with people. After all, who doesn't love an underdog? <laughs> so, what is it that you hope to gain from all this milady? Clearly not prestige. Clearly not. No, my wish is far more modest. I still don't really know what her wish is. It sounds like she just got a personal vendetta against the Dukes. Morning, kiddo. How you doing today? Good? Good. We should visit the Great Hall. There's gonna be a meeting. Are we back home? Are we back in the castle? Still can't redecorate the room yet. That's okay. Ah, oh, it's good to be home. It's been so long. I wonder if we, if we can uh, if we can upgrade the castle now. It's been so long. Now we have to go here for the story. But before I do that, I mean I know I'll probably get a chance after the cutscene with the story. But just in case I don't get the chance. In a building mood, are we? Uh, blueprint. Let's see what we can do now. So we can we can do the woodcutter production. We can do treasury capacity, resource depot. Oh no, we can't do that one. Oh, a restaurant enables you to order meals. Okay. A tool shop. Okay. A trading house renovation. We might be able to afford all of this. I can't get this one. Oh, because I haven't got the chef. I just know who I need to get. Okay. And I haven't got this guy. Sorry, I can't. So I can definitely afford everything. Well, that's cute. Oh, what a charming space we've made. I won't branch out to the left just yet. Oh, that's the furthest I can go. And I can't afford it. Well, I can afford them, but I can't. I don't have the ally required. 
Okay, so then we'll get this one, I guess. Oh no, we'll get this one. Raises the timber yield. Amazing. Then we'll go with this one. Oh, no, can't go with that. I've got the stone. Oh, is that it? Oh no. We suck again. I can, I can afford this one, but I need to get this one first. Yeah, that's literally... That's literally it. Okay. Well, this is good, because it means we don't spend all of our money. Oh. Let's go see what people have got to say in the Great Hall. I assume our next destination is the journey to, to Norris Star. Now that Commander Noah has joined us, we can begin. Okay, first, begin what? And second, aren't you supposed to be in Eucharist? King Yuma, in his wisdom, has granted me permission to serve the Alliance. Curator and tactician, Melrich, welcome. And seeing as I'm still under contract with the tactician, oh. I guess I'm coming aboard as well. How long is this contract going to last for? Welcome, Barnard. The Desert Mercenary. Not going to complain about that. You fought like a demon in you, Chris. Then it's settled. Melridge will be chief strategist and advisor to the Alliance's new permanent commander, Noah. Permanent? Wait, what? Uh. uh, but I'm just filling in for you, right? I mean, I'm not a leader. Not a real one, anyway. Not a leader? The man who secured the use of this castle? Who forged an alliance with the tree folk? Who won the battle for you, Chris? Do try to show a little more confidence. But... He's absolutely I right. I you liked to meddle. If so, it's time to plunge your nose into something that counts. You can help more than a person here or a person there. You can help entire nations. Um, I guess. But look. <laughs> Looks like you got an occasion to rise to, Noah. You okay with this, Ymir? Her ladyship and I have discussed it, if that is what you mean. This is already way more fun than Imperial meetings. Shh! Keep your voice down! I just realized that the Imperials are here as well. I'd like to take this moment to formally offer my help, Noah. <gasps> Yay! And of course, these three mates are going to join us up. Imperial Prodigy, Sane Kessling. Galdea no longer pursues a righteous path. But by standing with you, I believe she can yet be saved. Sounds like you found a new calling. I have. I will set aside my duty to House Kessling and follow the dictates of my own heart. Chills, Zane. Chills. Also, that look in your face tells me you're doing the right thing. Oh. Technology researcher. Oh? I don't feel like my expression is any different. Because it's not. <laughs> Valentin! Oh, he's got two swords, that's cool. I do hate to spoil the mood, but I was hoping we might discuss next steps, if I may. Oh. Sorry, Hilda, you can't join. He's asking you, kiddo. Huh? Oh, I, I guess I do this kind of thing now, huh? Sure, Melridge. Go ahead. <clears throat> As of now, the Empire has pulled its forces out of Eucharist, but yet remains a heavy presence in Groom. We must be prepared for when Duke Aldrich inevitably resumes his efforts to subjugate the League of Nations. Which I'm guessing will happen soon. 
There are two ways to effectively use the time we have left. The first is to gather as many allies as we possibly can. If I might interrupt, I have an idea about that. What about in Persiak, the Shi'ar capital in the desert east of Yukris? Uh, she who now? The Shi'ars. As a mercenary, I've had plenty of chances to fight both with and against them. They're strong warriors who prize valor above all else. Sounds good to me. A fine idea. As it happens, I've already secured the King's permission to use Eucharist's desert checkpoint. Commander Noah, might I ask you to go to Impertiarch and seek their help? You should take Bernard as your guide. Sounds good. Checkpoints northeast of Haishan. From there, we'll cross the mountains into the gateway town, the Bavi. I don't remember where Hishan is. That sounds good to me. I'll explain more as we go. Sounds good. I think we can fast travel there, right? Now, as for the other way to make a difference. At this moment, the Dukes is no doubt engaged with fallout from the Emperor's assassination. The sooner that's quelled, the sooner he can turn his attentions to us. Which means we need to keep that chaos churning for as long as possible. I have asked Lieutenant Kesling for his assistance in this matter. We have already reached out to the late Emperor's loyalists in Galdea. Naturally, they aren't keen on Aldrich seizing power. Good. We think it's better for us to go talk to them, since there are people and all. Which means we'll be working separately for a bit. Understandable. Probably for the best. Many here in the Alliance will need time to trust us, and understandably so. Hey, for what it's worth, I totally trust you guys. Thanks, Leon. The others will come around once they get to know the Lieutenant. Sane's group will work independently to gather intel within the Empire and sabotage the Duke's plans. Do everything in your power to destabilize his grip and delay his ability to resume the invasion. You can count on us. I will serve as a messenger, traveling back and forth between this castle and the Empire. Yeah, there she is. Flawless aid. You, uh, probably want a little help with that? Please. Nice. Going forward, you can now switch freely between Noah and Sane's... What? I can now switch between Noah and Sane's campaigns? That's kind of crazy. Okay, so, oh, picking really? our team. Okay. So, we have to choose our new people. That's how it works. They just get Ready a free pass. Meldridge in the middle of a book, but very well. And that's it. After this, we go for the lowest level, who is going to be 28. Probably going to be a similar team who was Lucky for you, in the team before. Leon's always in your corner. Yes, sir. Count me in. That's all the level 28s. So now we're going to go level 29s. How many are there? One, two, three. I can only have two. It's got to be Zabby. Calafor. Middle Calafor's got less experience. Noah, you need to be a part of it, so you're an attendant. The and then... I don't know what we're low on. Double back with collective and combat ends. Yeah, sure. your ladyship, I will give my all. Okay. I'm pleased to have that settled. Commander Noah, Lieutenant Kesslin. Good luck to you both. Thank you. We'll knock your socks off! I'll try not to let you down. Oh, we might even let you up! I don't know what that means. Two simultaneous operations. One to gather allies, and one to disrupt the enemy. I'm confused. Who's gonna finish first? Do I... 
Do I play as one, and once they're done, I switch to the other one? Or do I swap between them throughout? Technically, neither task is one that can be completely finished. There he goes, fretting the details again. Uh, yep, some things never change. So, if I wanted to change campaign, how would I even go about doing that? I don't think it's... On square? Oh, could not tell you. So, our current objective, head for Dabarvin, the entry to the desert. We'll hit another quick save real quick, just so we don't have to do that again if anything bad happens. Very good. And now we can fast travel, I think, all the way to his Oh, it shows us where we want to go. Yeah, on the map. Awesome. All right. So we just follow One the the path east. Coming up. I'm still waiting for this to mess up and send us somewhere random. And we're here. Okay. Awesome. Oh, wait. Got to do the. The party setup. So we got short. And then we got medium, medium, and two long range. Honestly, it's fine as it is for now. Let us do this. How are we for levels? 34, 28, 28, 29, 28, 29. Okay, not great. Hopefully a few fights in a new area and we'll all fly up in levels. And hopefully the fights aren't too difficult that we all get demolished. Let us waste no time. Okay, they certainly pack a punch. Not bad. Please don't kill anyone, Mr. Oh, nice. It ends with this. Okay. He I need to try and remember his name. Bernard. Very good. Not a lot of experience there. I still have so much to learn. I expected a bit more, but that's okay. I can go into that cave. I don't know what this game's supposed to be like. Is this one of those games where every location I'm going to have to go to eventually anyway? Or does it promote and encourage exploration? Should I go to every town on the map to see if there are new people to, re to recruit? I'm afraid I don't really know. Nice. I thought it would be more difficult. Yeah, 500 XP for Melridge. It's not bad. I want to be even tougher, just like the general. I do think that once we get out of this area and we start entering the desert, fights will get a bit more serious. Like there's a little, a little town to the right. Let me, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I've got a feeling that every location on the map, the story will make me go there at some point. But now I don't know. Now I'm curious. Dafan Village. There's probably like, there's probably recruits. Look at that woman on the left. Yes? Do you want something? Yes? Do you want something? Ah, but the fact that she doesn't want to talk to me at all makes me think that maybe the game doesn't actually want me to be here just yet. I mean, we could rest at the tavern just to heal. I know I said I was going to change the team every single time we rested at the inn. But we'd only make a few subtle changes here. You know what? Screw it. I, I, I made it the rule. I'm sticking with it. 
So we've now got a level 30 in the team. And Malor's level 39. And... Actually, we'll save it while we're here. Nice. I'm still not entirely sure. Maybe the game requires me to go here in the story. Maybe not. Maybe it's a little stop point where we can rest and go to a shop. Whoa, wow. The rune lenses really do have a radiance all their own. Bet I could make this little butte shine even more. But I'd have to get my hands on a rune of... Hmm? What do you want? I'm busy, so could you come back later? Unless you happen to be carrying a rune of currents. Not that you would be, because that's just... Huh? Do I have one? I think I okay, do. Okay, hey, look at that. You've got one. I could really use that for my research. Don't suppose you'd let me take a closer look. Oh yeah, see? Check it out. This rune is killer. You know the way light dances on the water? It's vibrancy, it's power. And you can imbue all of that right into your lens. Speaking of which, which one of my little goddesses can I talk your ear off about today? I won't quit until I've discovered every last thing about every last room lens. Anyway, thanks for the save. I made the observations I was hoping to. Did you need something? What's your name? It's Noah. I'm looking for people willing to join the Alliance. Wait. You're Commander Noah? No wonder you came through for me. They say you found a primal lens. Although it really chaps my hide that the Dukes and the Empire are using it for nefarious purposes. If those rumors are true. You know what? I've decided. <gasps> I'm going with you. Welcome to the ranks. Why would I ever say no? Call me Codal. I eat, breathe, and sleep lens research. So I'm sure I can find a way to make myself useful. Welcome, Code Elf. Rune Lens Maniac. Now, is he a fighter or is he just someone to chill in the castle? I don't know. I only came here to uh, to do this. See, now now that we've recruited someone, a part of me thinks that I should go to every location on the way to somewhere and just to see if there's any recruits I can get. Okay, we got mighty power, magic, HP. Let's go HP. Leanne. Ah. Uh, I don't have any passive runes on me. Nothing for Melrich. Uh. We'll do high magic because he's a magic user. One law, what we got for you? Dark or water enchantment. Oh, grants ability to wield magic swords. Um, we'll go dark magic. No, I won't. I'm gonna go this one. Cool. Annoyingly. Oh my god, I've not sold anything in ages. Annoyingly, all my good runes are in storage, and. There's no real way to. Do do do. You wanna to talk to yes. me now? No. Now, annoyingly. Just to waste a bit more time. I do want to run to the tavern and see if I can make Codel join the team. And just to double check. No, I can't. Can I only access my storage at the castle? That seems very annoying. Uh, who's the highest level here? Leanne. Oh, I know Malor. 
You're making me sit this one out. Oh, never mind. Code L is not here. I love pants. Okay. I don't know. I really don't know. Do I want to go to every single location on the way to somewhere, which would make every journey a lot longer? Like that cave, it could be someone in that cave. Or do I trust that the game will make me go to these towns eventually anyway? Because I'm going to have to go back to that town if I want to recruit that woman in red, you know? Shandar Ridge. Through these mountains is a town called Dabavin, gateway to the desert. After a stop there, we'll strike out for Imperciark. I wonder what the Shiarks are like. Right, let's get going. Why is that guard up ahead blocking the way? That's something we'll find out next episode. Gang, we are hit. We've hit the 40 minute mark. A good time to end it. Who knows how long it'll take to get through this area. Possibly years. But this is where we're going to end episode 20. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been your boy LF Jake. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then. See you later. Ciao for now.